I'm sorry, Miss Ellie. I know it's late. Um, is J.R. there? No, Sue Ellen. He's not home. Well, did he call? No. But you know how late some of those meetings can be. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Yes, I'm sure. Would you like me to have him call you when he gets in? No, it's an hour later here. Thank you. All right, Sue Ellen. Good night. Good night. Nicholas, I need you now. I didn't know whether to come down here this morning, or to take a plane back to Dallas, or to, uh, simply disappear. I feel so foolish about what happened last night. There's no reason to. Sit down. Thank you. Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Thank I can't thank you enough for not taking advantage of my, uh, situation. You don't know me very well. But I'm beginning to. I just felt so betrayed. Things have been so good between me and J.R. this year. I, I started to, uh, trust him and believe him. And I really felt that, that he believed in us and believed in our marriage. And then he goes off with another woman. I guess... I guess I just wanted to get back at him last night. That's all. So well and I understand. You must have been shocked. I mean, you and I have done practically nothing else but bicker since the day we met. And then last night, I, uh... I just threw myself in your arms. I'm not complaining. Only it could have been anybody. Oh, now there's flattery for you. <laughs> you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Maybe it was the wrong place in the wrong time. Under different circumstances, I might have. Well, anyway, it's over. It's behind us. We have an enterprise to get going. A store opening tomorrow night. Am I right? Yeah, we do. So, Ellen, you're a stunning woman. Any husband who doesn't play straight with you is a fool. Obviously, he's just a... Obviously, he doesn't realize what he's got. Thank you, Mrs. Ewing. Uh, no, thank you. Maybe later. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. Thank you. Look who's here. Nick, will you come with me for a minute? You never will get my name straight, will you? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Nicholas. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, Mrs. Ewing. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. You remember Mr. Pierce, don't you? Hi. Are you having fun? Oh, really fun. Thank you. There's lots of food and dancing. And I'll see you later. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Kimberly, how nice of you to come. I I'm delighted to be here. But uh, where's your husband? Don't tell me you left him at home. Oh, Texas cookouts just simply aren't Wilson style. Too bad. Kimberly, I'd like you to meet uh, a business associate and a very dear friend of mine, Nicholas Pierce. Nicholas Kimberly Kreider. How do you do? How do you do? Kreider of West Star? My husband has something to do with the company. <laughs> so I hear. <laughs> 